What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another bucket coding tutorial video. So first I just want to say I haven't done one of these for a while. Uh but yeah, without the way, I'm gonna be getting into config files today. So I'm gonna completely skip the way that bucket includes for you. Um, and I'm just gonna go straight to making your own file class because it's what I've done pretty much for as long as I can remember. First thing you wanna do is make a new class and just call it something along the lines of files. Obviously you can call it whatever you want, but just call it something that makes sense. And then you're gonna do public. Now, for the ease of you, I'll use statics for this, but later on you won't use static. So public, static, and then you're gonna do file with a capital F and then config file I call it like that you don't need to do it like that you'll see why I do that in a second and then another public static and then file configuration and then I call that one config so this is the actual file and then this is the the configuration how you will actually access everything from the file what I'm going to do now is public static void and then I'm going to just do base and then I'm going to put my main class here just so that I can pass the instance of the main class in. So something that you might want to do is right click on your src new file config.yml and when I say you might want to do that you're going to need to do it at some point so you might as well get it done now and I'm just going to put something random in here. Um, so that's the config file created now. So the first thing we're going to do is just an if statement with an exclamation point in the start. This basically uh, reverts a boolean. So if it's true, it will return false and vice versa. And then we're going to do your main class, which you pass through here. Um, and then got get data folder. Oh shit, get data folder dot exists. So basically, if the folder doesn't exist you're going to do the get data folder part again and then dot m k d i r s and the way i remember that is just make and then directories i don't know you know that's imagine what i'd imagine that's what it's short for that's the way i remember it so you're going to want to do your file so for me config file equals new file and then you're going to want to do the um main class again dot get data folder and then you're going to put a comma and then put the name of the file so for me config.yml and you have to make sure that um, the file exists in your project otherwise it will give you an error on startup saying that the resource can be found or something along those lines so now we're going to check if this file exists so if config file dot exists and obviously again put in the exclamation point in the start to revert the boolean and then you're going to do your main class dot save resource and then you're going to type in the name of it which is this is basically creating this file in your actual server and then here you're just going to put false I'm honestly not sure what that means but hey and then after this you're going to do your file configuration equals yaml configuration dot load configuration and then your file so config file in my case so that's how you basically load your file now um, so now I'm just quickly showing you how to create two files so as you can see I've got the config file that I created before and then I'm just quickly setting up a data file as well just make sure that you create both the files within your project now you're going to want to go into your main class and in your on enable I'm going to do files dot base and then you're going to put this um, for your main class so here I'm just quickly setting up a command so that I can test the defaults of the config file as well as the data file. Um, I'm using two sub commands being uh, config and data just to get the date from the data file and the developer string from the um, config file. So I'll leave you in silence now for the rest of this uh, little time lapse. It shouldn't be too much longer. Thank <laughs> you. 
So how to get something from the config now. So I'm going to broadcast this message. So you're going to want to do the class that you made and then dot and then your file configuration. So for me, it's config. Now you're going to want to do dot get string and you can do got get in, get boolean, get string list. There's, there's all those things you can do depending on what you need, of course. So as you can see in here, I have just developer, so I'm going to get developer and that will broadcast this string. Now I'm going to show you an example with um, configuration sections. So your so we're going to broadcast the time and the date, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is bucket broadcast message again. And then I'm going to do files.data this time instead of config get string. And I'm going to get the time first. So you can see the section is time. And then after the section you put a dot. And then I'm going to put time again to get the actual time as a string of course. So that will get the time string and then I'm just going to chuck a space in between and I'm going to do files.data that get string again and then time dot and then I put date. So this will put the time that I put in the config as well as the date that I put in the config and obviously you know this is a data file I'm just pretty much showing you uh, you know how to use config files this is obviously an impractical uh, use but hey you never know you might use this at some point so I'm gonna export this now and we will give this a test uh, so I will see you over on the server so you can see here it's created the YouTube folder and then we have our config and our data file and I'll just quickly open those to just to show that everything that I put in them is correct. Now I'm going to hop on the server and I'm going to do that command I set up. So it was uh, test config I believe. Or was it config test? It was config test. And then I'm going to put first config. So this will say um, asking my name which I put here. And then if I do data it will say the date that I put. So that's pretty much the basics of how to use config files um, within Bucket. So I hope this was helpful and if it was, please leave a like and consider subscribing. If you didn't like it then yeah, definitely don't subscribe and uh, hit, that, hit that dislike button if you want. But make sure to tell me why you didn't like it. Anyway, other than that, I think that's everything. So I will catch you in the next video.